For those of you who watch the channel regularly, you might have seen on my live stream that my camera on my O4 Lite ear unit actually broke. Now, this was my bench test unit that I was using just to mess around with on the bench. And whilst it had been handled a little bit, the actual connector on it snapped. And whilst I'm not going to pretend it was just left perfect, it was certainly not mishandled. And what it told me was that this connector was quite weak. Today, though, we're going to try and fix this because I've managed to locate the connector on the camera of AliExpress. And what I want to walk you through in this video is a bit of a journey on if I was able to fix this. And a hint of this is whilst that all looks OK, something did end up going wrong. OK, so for those who've seen the channel in the past, you'd have seen that I actually had the connector on my O4 standard ear unit camera break. As you can see here from the image, the actual pins from the connector to the PCB had snapped. I had removed the little interposer board on and off a few times. It was never twisted, but this is clearly a weak point. And as you could see, the pins had snapped, it was no longer making connection, and as a result of that, I was unable to get an image. I've actually removed the connector on it already, I didn't do that on film. However, in some of the moving around on the bench, some of the pins on the connector actually broke. You could see it actually moving, and as a result of that, it would no longer connect. Now, I've spent some time digging around and I now believe I have found replacement connectors which I've bought off AliExpress for a couple of dollars that will allow me to repair the camera and that's what we're going to do today. Now the connectors I ordered for this from AliExpress are the ones you can see here. It's two-piece screen connector for Galaxy J7 and all of these other models. There was no specific part number on the connector here. It just said those models of phones were supported. 34 pin onboard and on flex connections. It's the on flex you need for the camera side. It is looking like it is the OK14M034-04. I didn't order this connector. This was the one I ordered, but this appears to be the same connector. So if you're looking for the exact number, it should be that one there. I've already removed the connector off the bottom of the camera down here. I've not got footage of that, so we're going to go straight into fitting a new connector on the camera and testing and seeing if we can get this to work. Okay, so the camera's under the microscope. So what we're going to do, first of all, is put a bit of flux on this board and then we're going to just try and get some solder onto the pads with the iron. Ideally, what I would want here is a stencil and flux paste. That would be the best way of doing this, but I don't have a stencil for this. So what I want to do now is just try and get some solder onto the pads. Not too much, but enough on there that hopefully we can make the connector flow. I don't want too much on there. We'll pull on that one. That one not so bad. Got our pads here and our pads here. And what we want is enough that when we sit the connector on it, and I think what we'll try and do this with is hot air, if I'm honest, but then try and have enough that it will actually drop in and solder. Okay, so there's a little bit on them. We're going to go for a fresh rub and let me just try and refocus this for you. This camera is really not the best for this. This isn't my normal microscope that I use for inspection. This is my repair microscope. So as a result of that, it doesn't quite have as good of an image as the other ones. Now, I don't have many of these connections to try, so we're going to have to be very careful here. These are extremely brittle. I actually damaged one doing a test earlier. 
I was doing a test to see if I it was the right connector and it fitted. And they are that fragile. I actually damaged one in that test. Okay. So, let's pop him on. And what we're going to want to do, first of all, is try and... Get it to where we think it should be. And then we're going to try and do this with hot air at a low temperature. Sorry, a low um, air setting. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So, I've got very low A, but a bit of heat. And what we're going to try and do with that is flow it in you can actually see that the connector started to move as we did that you can then see that they've changed colour which basically indicates that they've wetted. Got one there I'm a little worried about. I want to be very careful. Here we go. So, we're now going to leave it cool because anything we touch on this right now is going to be super soft. So we're going to leave it cool down and then once that's happened in a few minutes, I'll come back and we'll do a gentle cleanup and see how it looks. Okay, so things have cooled off a little bit. So we're just going to get some IPA first of all and just do a bit of a clean up around the connector I want to be quite careful because it is very delicate on this I am going to get in there with my toothbrush in a minute but for now I just want to go in and get off the majority of the mess so we can see the back of the connector now I'm going to zoom in and refocus so we can now start checking the pins on these one at a time to check that this has soldered correctly. Right, I'm going to try and focus that better for you. So what we're going to do now is one at a time get in there with my tweezers and I'm just going to hold the camera because it is moving. Sorry, hold the uh, pins and we're just going to check these one at a time to check that these have all soldered. I can actually see these with my own eyes. That one I was a little worried about. That was the one I wasn't sure on, but yeah, it's definitely done. All of them have soldered all the way along. Let's just get that bit of fluff off. And then if we come along the top and do the same thing, we're going to just look, inspect each one, check that it has soldered, that there's no movement. Yeah, that's fine. All of them have soldered really nicely. That's gone really well. The only one I was a bit touchy on was that bottom one there. But it has soldered, and I'm not going to mess with it. The more you mess with something like this, the more potential you have 
for causing more damage. All of the pins look nice. Let me just refocus that for you. And what I'll do in a second is I'll show it to you under the proper overhead so you can have a proper look at it. But what I want to do before that now is do a bit more of a clean up. Get it now properly clean up. We'll get the toothbrush in there so we can get to the flux under the connector as well. Obviously, there is still some flux going to be located under the uh, the connector, but this should allow us to get most of it up. I'm just going to absorb as much of that as I can. Use the Q-tip to do that. Just trying to get in between the pins at the bottom here and the top. Just because that's where some of that flux was underneath. There we go. Happy with that. So, I'm going to come on with a clean Q-tip. and just trying to absorb up as much as I can. And then what we'll do is hit it with a little bit of hot air. At a distance, just to flash off any of the IPA. Here we go, and then we'll get it under the uh, other microscope. Okay, so now you can see under the other microscope. You can see the pins in a bit more detail. They are all soldered fine. I've double checked them. All looking good. And again, this isn't something I want to mess with overly. It is something I just want to do. But the only one I would be tempted to touch up is that one you can see with a little bit of gold there. A tiny touch of gold, but it is soldered. So it's time to test and see if it actually works. Okay, so for reassembly, I've put this side all back together. I've put that interposer board onto the camera cable, and then I'm now going to try popping this on. This is the first time I've done this, so let's hope it actually fits. Give it a gentle push. Oh, ooh, that snapped on nicely. Look at that. There we go. So we definitely got the right connector. All looking good. I'm ready to test this and I want to see if this works. So we've got my goggles, we've got my phone so you can see through the Fly app. I had it connected just now on another ear unit. So let's see does this work. I'm going to plug in and I'm going to look through my goggles. Two moments. Hey, hey we have camera view. Although, what, what, hold on a minute. Why does it look like I'm looking through a jam jar? Is the lens dirty? Okay, so we're definitely live. Let me just lift that. Okay, so you've got the live feed here as well. So, you're seeing what I'm seeing, which... Okay. That's a little bit odd. Let me just go and find a Q-tip. I've got a clean one here. Let's, let's give us a clean. Is the lens dirty? Oh, oh dear, I've just seen something. Can you see that on the overhead? It looks shiny down there. What? Why is that happen? Oh my God, I've just realized. So as I was soldering the connector here like this, we had hot air going that way. I forgot about the plastic lens on this camera. I forgot that it's got a plastic lens. A little too much heat has reached the side and it's melted the lens inside. If I show you there, there you can see we have video, but the lens is destroyed. Oh my God. Okay. So if we were going to do this, we would need to shield that? With hot air, if we were going to do this with hot air, shield it, or maybe in the end have to do it 
with the iron. That's the only other option. Okay, so it's definitely it's clean. There's nothing. Yeah, no, it's shite. The heat has got to it. So whilst I have technically fixed this, I've ended up destroying the lens. However, all is not lost. There are lens mods available for these cameras out there that allow you to mount normal lenses. So that is a good excuse to make a video on doing it. And whilst I'm not going to do that today, you can guarantee that there will be a video from me coming with a lens mod on this camera in the future. What we have been able to do though is replace the connector. It is available for a few dollars off AliExpress. I will put a link to the ones that I used in the description. So all is not lost. What's really frustrating right now is that you cannot buy the light camera on its own. You do have to buy the full camera. DJI are not selling it. They're only selling the kit as you see here. But what it does mean is that you can repair it if you want. Now, that is it from me on this one. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any comments and questions, please do leave them down below. Finally, I just want to say if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep doing destructive repair testing like you've seen here today, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep doing what I do on this channel. And if you'd like to support us, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.